happy day students so till now in electric field we have seen the electric field due to those cases in which we have found forces before okay now there are certain cases we are going to see in which we have not calculated force before okay so directly we are going to calculate electric field because of that right so what is this first is due to uniform uniformly charged rod we will be saying that we have found it because of this we have found it but along the length but this time we are going perpendicular to length okay so suppose that here is a rod and on this rod we have charge as lambda coulomb per meter all right and we want to find the electric field at this point let's say this point is p and this distance is b okay so we have to find electric field over here what is our method says method says is wherever point you want to find the magnetic, uh, electric field you are going to put here unit positive charge so plus 1 okay like in the previous case we know that this wire can be con uh, can be considered as considering infinite number of point charges as we know coulomb's law only and we can find out the electric field or electrostatic force because of two point charges right so here also we have to consider the point charges so how many point charges are there infinite point charges are there so how to find integration okay so consider here one small charge okay let's say the charge is dq right and if i consider this is to be origin and this distance i consider as y then this small length that we have considered for dq automatically becomes dy am i correct so this is dy okay so plus lambda coulomb per meter i'll write over here so this becomes what dy right let's join this now and join this segment also like this okay now because of this dq element on plus 1 coulomb attraction force or repulsive force repulsive force so it will be in this direction okay this is df now you can see that again it is inclined force so definitely there will be components of that so what components here this will be theta this will be theta this is df or i would write here de because we are talking about electric field right So this is de. This will be de cos theta, and this will be de sine theta. Right? Now, in this case, what is variable? Y is variable, theta is variable, or both are variable. Both are variable. How can we say? I suppose that this element I would have taken over here. So definitely, this has changed. But at the same time, angle also has changed. If you are going somewhere here, then this will be the angle, right? Angle also is changed. So theta as well as y is variable. So we need to have the relation between them, correct? So you see that this triangle here. If I write tan theta, tan theta will be y by d. Yes or no? Right? Tan theta equal to y by d, or y equal to d tan theta. Okay. After this. we have to find this what is this de let's write this expression then so de is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not dq into 1 that means dq only dq by by what by this distance okay and this distance if you check either i can write as root over y square plus d square or i can write it in terms of theta directly Okay, now what we know, cos theta, cos theta equal to d by this. Am I correct? If I say this is r, then cos theta equal to d by r, right? So r equal to d by cos theta, or we can say d sec theta. Correct or not correct? Correct. So we can write over here d q by r square. R square means d square. Second square theta. Is that okay? 
no problem okay now let us talk about the components now because the e we have now we have to do de cos theta and de sin theta so this component here this one i am saying this is the perpendicular component okay this is perpendicular come perpendicular to what length of the wire okay so i'll be writing e perpendicular is equal to integration of de cos theta okay and this one this is parallel to the wire so i'll be writing this as e parallel e parallel equal to de sin theta okay is it all right now let's do integration one by one okay so this e parallel at the moment i'm removing first we'll do e perpendicular then we'll come back to e parallel okay so de value now what is de value this is de value so let's place it dq what is dq charge on this length what is this length dy so if you remember how we found in uniformly charged wires the uh, charge on that particular length this is lambda coulomb per meter okay that means per meter our charge is lambda so what is its length dy so dq will be what dq we can write as lambda dy because dy is the length of that segment okay dq will be equal to lambda dy right so we'll be putting it over here so here comes dq dq is place we are writing lambda dy pi 4 pi epsilon not okay 4 pi epsilon not d square Secant square theta. That is the value of de, right? Into cos theta. Okay. Now in this one you can see that y is the variable and theta is also variable. Two two variables we cannot integrate. We need to have single variable only. So we have to convert y into theta or theta into y. So we have already one relation which is y equal to d times theta. Okay. Now how to get dy and d theta then? We have to differentiate that. Differentiate it with respect to what? Either theta or y itself. Okay, so differentiate it. Differentiating with respect to theta, let's say. So if you differentiate y with respect to theta, you will be writing dy by d theta equal to d is constant, and tan theta's differentiation with respect to theta is secant square theta. So dy. Can be written as d secant square theta d theta. Okay, dy can be written as d secant square theta d theta. So here in place of dy, I am going to put this value. Okay, see then. Right. So we are going to place it. So e perpendicular equal to. Lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught. Then you have dy. Dy is d secant square theta. Okay. Then cos theta. D theta by d square secant square theta. Secant square theta. Secant square theta gets cancelled. So d and d gets cancelled. So what we have? Lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught d. Okay, and integration is also there. So what we are integrating here? Only cos theta d theta. Okay. All right. Now limits we have to take. Why? Because rod is starting from this point and is going up to this point. And what is variable we have chosen? Theta is the variable only here. So in terms of theta we have to take. Okay. So this is the wire. This is horizontal. So if I am going to make The top end here. This, if I consider this angle as alpha, okay, and this angle here as beta, then the limits will be what? This is above the line and this is below the line. So I am considering this as our angles are minus beta to plus alpha. 
y minus beta and this below okay so we are considering this as minus beta and we are considering this as plus alpha even the rotation direction is different here we are going clockwise here we are going anti clockwise so it's your wish okay so we considered beta as negative now if you are going to integrate that what's going to come what are we going to get we are going to get here cos theta's integration is sin theta integration sin theta sin theta here is minus beta here is alpha what is going to come lambda by 4 pi epsilon not d space here sin alpha minus sin of minus beta sin of minus theta is minus sin theta only so minus sin theta into minus so plus so what are we getting we are getting e perpendicular as lambda by 4 pi epsilon not d sin alpha plus sin beta now this is with sign convention okay you don't have to take another sign convention for angles this is with sign convention sin alpha plus sin beta we got the perpendicular field now parallel field if you have to find what was the difference the difference was the perpendicular field was d cos theta and this is d sin theta so in this one only i can make the changes yes so parallel field if you have to find this all is a common thing okay only here will be sin theta so let's make sin theta over here here also sin theta limits same limits minus beta to plus alpha okay sin theta's integration is what sin theta's integration is minus cos theta okay take minus outside here then what we can write cos alpha minus cos of minus beta a cos of minus theta is cos theta only so cos of minus beta i have to writing as cos beta only so what we are getting this minus also we will multiply in this one so here right now is cos alpha minus cos beta when you multiply here it will be minus cos alpha plus cos beta that means here we are going to get cos beta minus cos alpha so e parallel is this and e perpendicular is lambda by 4 pi epsilon not d sin alpha plus sin beta is it clear now we can have different cases for this one what are the cases let's see let's try and understand if this is going to be an infinite wire infinite length wire okay if this is an infinite length wire this is how we show infinite length wire okay and this point here is exactly in the middle then what will be e perpendicular and what is e parallel so first of all let's write the form formula that here only okay formula that here only now what we have to find in this lambda is given to you as lambda only and separation also is given d okay so only thing we have to find in this case is angle what is alpha and what is beta okay here also the charge density is lambda coulomb per meter distance is d what we have to find alpha and beta values okay so this is infinite first of all what is the meaning of infinite do we have infinite length of wire actually because if we do not know what is infinite then how will we solve it so infinite basically means says if length of wire is very large as compared to this d if l is very very large as compared to d d then we can call this as infinite length wire okay now suppose i have taken it as infinite length right now now suppose that the length of this wire is 20 meter so this is 10 meter and this is 10 meter and this is 1 mm okay now join this and find this theta which will be alpha in our case so this 10 theta is going to be 10 meter by 
1 millimeter. 1 millimeter means 10 to the power minus 3 meter. What is coming? 10 to the power 4. When you calculate this theta, it will come 89.9 something. That means 90 degrees. And 90 degrees then theta means what? Infinity. Do you understand its meaning? What is the infinite length wire? Infinite length wire means is this aspect of the length is a lot more than this aspect. That is the meaning of infinite. Otherwise, infinite does not exist. Right? Everything we know. Even the distance of the sun from the earth we know. And can we consider this? Can we make a wire of infinite length? No. It's a relative term. Okay. So again, let's come back to the question. The question is, there is infinite length wire. And we have to find electric field over there. Okay. So, for infinite length, why I am doing it? So that we know that this angle over here, as I told you, this angle here is what? 90 degrees. If you take infinite also, this will become infinite by 2. That means infinite. So, 10 theta equal to infinite by this. The angle will be 90 only. Here also, this angle also, 90. Correct. So, if you say that, E perpendicular. What is it? Lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught d sin alpha. Alpha is 90. So, sin 90 here plus sin 90 here. That means sin 90 is 1. So, 1 plus 1, 2. So, what we are getting? Lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught d. Now, the question is which direction? So, perpendicular. Perpendicular to the length. Perpendicular to the length and this is a positive charge. And for finding electric field, here also we have to take positive charge. So there is going to be repulsion between them. So that means direction is this. This is equal perpendicular. But if suppose this would have been negative then, then the direction would have been opposite. It would have been towards the wire. Right now it's away from the wire. Right? Now E parallel is fine. E parallel, this is the formula. So lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught d cos 90 minus cos 90 cos 90 is also 0 only 0 minus 0 is also 0 so what are we getting so parallel you are not going to get the electric field component reason because this side length and this side length are both equal and here we have subtraction so because of that reason you are not going to get any field along the wire okay Let's see more cases in that. But this component, this thing you remember. Okay, it's very important. Most of the cases, direct question will be coming for finding out what is the electric field perpendicular to the wire. Okay? Let's see further. Let's change the cases. What we can do further in this one. Alright. Let's make it in this way. Infinite length wire again. But our point is here now. This is point P. This is again lambda coulomb per meter. And length is? So length is L. But it's infinite. Why? Because L is very large as compared to small d. So what will be e perpendicular and what will be e parallel? So e perpendicular again. Now we have to find the angles, okay? So one angle this one, alpha. What is alpha? 90. Beta? Beta is not there. That's 0. So, alpha 90 and beta is 0. So, what you'll do? You're going to place it in these two formulas. This value is 90. This value is not there. Okay. Sin 90 will be 1. So, E perpendicular we are getting is lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught d. Parallel then? Cos beta? Beta is 0. So that means 1. Alpha is 90. That means 0. So 1. So E parallel also. Lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught d. Directions. The direction of perpendicular field is in this direction only. Because it's perpendicular we are saying. It's positive charge. Here also positive. So we are going to get in this direction. Parallel. Parallel will be in which direction? Parallel will be in this direction. Why? Because again, here is a positive charge and field will be in this direction. 
output, right? So taking this point, C will be in this direction, a component here and a component in this direction, right? Okay. Further, let's see. Furthermore, what we can do? Suppose it's like this. This is uh, B only. Okay, and this angle, let's say 60 degrees, and this angle here is 30 degrees. This is lambda coulomb per meter, and this is B. Right, we want to find E perpendicular and E parallel. E perpendicular, very easy. Lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught D sin 60 plus sin 30. We know the values. Which direction? Again positive. So direction is this. Right? This is E perpendicular. What about E parallel? Which direction? From here also there is repulsive forces. From here also repulsive forces. Which direction? Magnitude we know how to find. Lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught D cos beta. Now what is beta in this one? 30. Alpha? 60 cos 30 minus cos 60. This is the value, but in which direction? Downwards. Why? Because this section is larger. There are more point charges as compared to this one. So because of them, the repulsive force of the upper section will be more as compared to the lower section. That's why E parallel will be downwards. Is that clear? Okay, very good. Then, then what we can do? Okay, let's see. Again, infinite length by f. Okay. And this is the point C. Okay. This is point P. This is distance D. This angle is, let's say, 30 degrees. And don't take this as infinite. Let it be like this. And this angle. This angle, also you take 30. Okay. It's given like this. This is lambda coulomb per meter as usual. This is D. And at point P, we want the electric field. Alright. This is having the charge. It's given in this way. That means it's, this point is not directly perpendicular to it. Right. From the last end, if I say that the wire is AB. So from last end, its distance is D, like this. So how we are going to find? See, first is E perpendicular. Lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught. Now D actually was perpendicular distance from the wire of that point. Perpendicular distance, remember that always. Is this D perpendicular? No. Then what is perpendicular? Perpendicular is this or for that matter, this is perpendicular, okay? This is perpendicular distance. So if this is D, then what is this? This is D cos 30. This is D cos 30. So what I'll write over here, I'll write here D cos 30. Then I require alpha and beta. Now what is alpha? Alpha means is the angle of the topmost point from perpendicular distance. What is perpendicular? This is perpendicular. This is perpendicular. And where is top end? This is top end. So with this perpendicular angle made by the line joining A, the topmost point with this point. With horizontal here, with the perpendicular here, what is the angle made by the line joining top end with P? 60 degrees. So alpha is 60 this is alpha and then beta how we measure beta from this perpendicular only you have to move in opposite direction this is clockwise then we have to go anti-clockwise am i correct so move anti-clockwise are you getting the other end no are you getting no are you getting no are you getting no are you getting yes i got it here 
when you are going anti clockwise you have to search the line joining the last end with point p that is bp so if you are going in this way anti clockwise anti clockwise you are getting it over here so what is this angle this total angle is 360 minus 30 that means 330 degrees beta is what 330 degrees you can say or minus 30 degree you can say that's your wish so what will be writing in this formula sin of 60 degree plus sin of 330 degrees is it clear so we got the answer or you can write here sin of minus 30 same way e parallel if e parallel you are finding again lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught d cos 30 this is cos first what we write beta and what is beta here 330 so cos 330 minus cos 60 degrees did you understand that this is very very important because these kinds of questions are asked in competitive exams okay one more shall we do or in this question i could have asked you this is 90 degree also i would not have given this is 30 degree to you and and what i could have done i could have made that as 90 degree itself okay that also we can do like this so this would have become 90 degrees okay alpha directly would have become 90 degrees so then alpha place you would have written 90 understand that same kind of question i can make horizontally also exactly similar okay so horizontally how will we do that or rather how i am going to make it that you see so this is your wire now this is plus lambda coulomb per meter okay this we can say is d right and this angle okay and this is perpendicular so this angle i can give is maybe 45 degrees and this i can say 30 degrees right so how to find it e perpendicular will be what any e perpendicular will be which direction e perpendicular will be in this direction okay because this is positive here plus 1 so it will be like that e perpendicular lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught perpendicular distance this is d so this will be d cos 45 so here is d cos 45 then sin alpha so sin alpha means top end here this is the top end alpha means 75 degree beta means go in this direction here it is So 360 minus 45, that is 315 degrees. Or you can say minus sine 45. E parallel, lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught d cos 45 cos beta, that is cos 315 minus cos 75 degrees. Okay. So you understand that on one application itself, how many questions can be framed? Okay, so very very important application. Understand that and solve the problems on that. Okay, the remaining things on electric field we'll see in next class. Bye for now.